So today's topic, fixed asset supplication. Fixed asset supplication is the one of the subledger application in fusion, EBS or 12 ERPs. Fixed asset model main objective to capitalize the assets or install the asset, tracking the asset information at organization level. When it comes to fixed asset application, it is controlled by it is controlled by primary ledger. We have the three types of key flex fields in FA asset category, asset location, and asset key. In FA module, there is no opening the period concept. Once you close the running month, like example, October month closed, November period will be available to capitalize the asset. FA implementation time as a functional consultant we should remember we need to assign cost center segment label for department segment at a chart of account level or cost center segment at a chart of account level for a tracking purpose, physical verification purpose. Example, I purchase the 10 laptops. End of the month or end of the year, I will do auditing. I can easily understand each department wise, how many assets or laptops are existed. FA module uh, uh, main objective or purpose, tracking the additions, depreciation at month end, and other transaction you can initiate it, like uh, asset merging, asset split, split, asset reclassification as well. We will implement fixed assets without a business unit setup also. Okay, mainly we can define carp book under le legal entity level or ledger level. When I was working for one US client, we have one primary ledger, 42 legal entities, one business unit. I define the 42 carp books reference of single primary ledger, but each carp book will have the different BSV code, like 105, 106, 107, 108, like that. So fixed asset module is not a mandatory module. In EBS earlier days, Oracle did not develop the fixed assets. That time we can go and uh, use the general entry spreadsheet. Sometimes client may ask it, if I don't use fixed asset supplication, how can I track the assets? Simple, we can directly upload every month depreciation asset cost in the GL by manual journal or spreadsheet journal. So, I already explained FA module objective. The types of assets in FA, top interview question, many times we got. Capitalize the asset, like we can install the asset immediately for ready to use. We can depreciate the asset. We have the expense assets, CAP assets. Later we'll convert to the CAP to capitalized asset, group of the assets. Before implementing the fixed asset module, as a consultant, we should know what is the integration between other applications. So AP to EFA, we have the critical functionality called mass additions. AP to EFA, PPM to EFA, project portfolio management to EFA. We will bring the assets. FA to GL, we will be 
do the accounting in FA transferred to GL with unposted or posted. Before implementing the FA module, we need to talk with the client how many accounts uh, like uh, we require, what is the numbering we will follow. Like assets will start with one, liability two, ownership account three, revenue account four, expense account you can use five or six, seven, eight number. So how many types of books are there? It is a regular interval question. Carp book, tax book. Carp book is mandatory to capitalize the assets. Tax book is optional. Few clients having the multinational uh, entities, country specific, they may ask the tax book as well. So we will define under carp book. So our company example, we are implementing for Parashikt company. When we are buying the items for organization purpose, like assets, we can call long-term missionary, vehicles, furniture, land. So these are all items we will define in the inventory module as a set item, which is not inventorable item, stockable item. How many ways we can create assets in FA? We have the important question. How many ways we can create? How can I create assets in FA? Mass addition. Uh, additions in FA directly. Spreadsheet. FBDA. TPA. If you look at uh, like a simple theory. Fixed assets is a part of financials. Which will allow to the business process. Additions. Adjustment life like uh, life years or depreciation method or calendar, depreciations, retirement, and you can easily track the asset for financial and reporting purpose. So FA all accounts belongs to balance sheet majorly. Then can we create a KFFs for ledger specific, country specific as an intro question? No, we can't. It is instance level, we will define. We required these three roles to access the fixed assets to do the functionalities. And we have the great concept in the fusion FSM, which will allow to do the configurations, okay, activities through single page. Right. So here now we are implementing for the PCC company. So PCC company required missionary or laptops. We can procure the asset. They required, okay, missionary, we can call procure, procure the assets. We can procure the assets in a Oracle application with the procure to pay process with the two-way matching and we can create with the three-way matching like a purchase order gr and invoice two-way we can we can order it directly they will deliver to our head office like a fan and a printer sometimes client will say i want to buy or purchase assets without any PO. Yeah, we can buy. You can, uh, you can buy assets. You can buy asset and you can record vendor provided invoices information in AP okay, to track as a asset based in then Varakil suggested to pro to follow to procure the asset by non-PO to procure the asset by PO based one. Varakil suggested critical integration process called mass addition process. So mass addition is the one of the important integration process from AP to okay. 
FA, then AP team will create an voice. Okay. Process validate accounting. They will run the mass edition create. So if you want to track the asset from AP to FA, we should follow mandatory process called mass edition process. That is the name. Without AP in a voice, can I install the asset? Yes, we can create asset in FA. Directly add as a add to asset functionality or we can create through spreadsheet also. So if you attend the functionalities, sorry, if you attend the any interviews, you will expect the important question, did you work on FA? If you, if you say yes, tell me mass edition process with P2P, mass edition process with the non-PO based like standard analyze process. As a consultant, we have to understand what steps to be followed. And you can, uh, okay, process step by step from AP, then bring to EFA, do prepare, prepare a mass edition, post mass edition account. Okay. Right. One more interrupt question. Can I install or can I use the asset without making the payment? Yes, you can. We can we can create assets without making the payment because of the different payment terms. Today we got one more question. I have one primary ledger three legal entities, one business unit. How many corp books you will suggest? We can simply give the answer. You can create uh, three corp books. Each legal entity treated as a one corp book. Three corp books, three company codes we can use, BSV codes. Another interview question, continuity. Can I maintain a certain number Ledger-wise, I want, can I maintain the asset number ledger-wise? No, we cannot. It is instance level. Sometimes client may ask it, can I create assets for legal entity-wise? Yes. Can I maintain the asset number for a legal entity-wise? No, it will not allow. Asset number controlled by asset system control at instance level. So these are all things are important. And before defining the critical setups, Carp book, we have to define the GL account that we need to discuss with the client. Asset account, asset cost account, depreciation retirement accounts. Okay. Thanks guys for watching the video. Please subscribe, like the video to spread it to the job seekers. Thank you.